Good evening, everyone. The Gladstone Braves softball team is in East Lansing getting ready for its Division III semifinal tomorrow afternoon against the Napoleon Pirates. The Braves spoke about what has been going well for them this season. All aspects we've been playing um, great, great softball. Our pitching's been great, our defense's been great, and our hitting's been steady through the last half of the year and into the into the tournament play so that's everything's been working really good just power through everything and like when we play strong there's no one that can beat us i mean we're so we are so good together as a team well we had a lot of girls last year that made it to michigan state so we pushed that in the beginning of the season like that's what we're working for Obviously, you're not just going to get there. We have to work hard. And that's what we've been doing all season. We've never backed down. We just keep going. I'm just super confident in our team. Like, I feel great about going with this group of girls. We're all super excited, and we all have each other's backs. Come on, come on, come on. If everything stays on schedule, the Braves and Pirates game should begin around 5.30 Eastern time at Michigan State. The Escanaba Eskimos were looking for a quicker start in their Division II softball semifinal this morning than they had last season against Richmond. They had a chance in the top of the first inning. Let's go back to Michigan State. Top of the first inning, Escanaba's Emily Brunchings walked, went to second on a wild pitch, third on a pass ball, but she was stranded when Taylor Gauthier swung and missed. Blue Devils pitcher Aaron Shoeboy able to get out of the jam. Bottom of the third, Richmond runners on second and third. Amy Team bunts. Katie Ross hesitates. Throw home is too late. Kennedy Capperton scores and keeps and the team keeps right on going to second base. One nothing Blue Devils. After a strikeout and then a walk load at the bases, Richmond catcher Evelyn Swantek sent one to the gap in right center. By the time the ball returns to the infield, three runs cross the plate, and the defending state champions had a 4-0 advantage on the bases loaded double by Swantek. Top of the fifth, Escanaba. Runners on first and second. Claire McInerney, full count pitch. The base hit to right center. That was the first base hit of the game for the Eskimos, so the bases are now loaded for the orange and black. Next hitter, Brunchens, bounces the second. Blue Devils settle for the force out. Pinch runner Madison Kolich scores. Escanaba on the board, trailing 4-1. Next hitter, Lexi Shaler, bounces a single to left field. Maddie Griffin scored. Eskimos trail 4-2. But Shoeboy was able to escape without any further damage. She also survived the threat in the sixth inning. And for the second year in a row, Richmond excuses Escanaba in the semifinals by the score of 4 to 2. Legion Baseball, Marquette at Nagani, top of the sixth. Austin Wachnicki bounces the short. Carter Richardson throws in time. But Jay Oberg has scored, and here comes Jacob Peterson from second base. Your basic two run RBI grounder, 6 1 Blues. That capped the 4 run sixth inning. Bottom of the sixth, Marquette pitcher still dealing heat. Tyler Miller strikes out here. Blake Hendrickson and Jacob Rogers combined for nine Ks. Top of the seventh, Blake Henderson to drive the center. Taylor Lawrence back battle. Oh, okay, not much on the style points, but it's a catch and Lawrence happy and his teammates are too. Rogers kept the Nagani batters mystified. Tyler Robinson goes down on strikes and the Blues get this one six to one. Michigan Tech has a new cross-country skiing head coach. Tom Smith brings 14 years of coaching and competition experience to the Huskies. Smith is a native of Bend, Oregon. Recently, he served as the head coach of the Sun Valley Ski Education Foundation, and that's in Ketchum, Idaho. Sun Valley provides year-round training and competitive opportunities for youth. Smith guided Sun Valley to a fourth place overall finish in the club's standings. He was an outstanding skier and student coach at the University of Utah, where he helped the Utes to three second place NCAA championship finishes in 2011, 12, and 13.